Venice, the most beautiful city built by man. Millions of tourists around the world come to witness the magnificent architecture and culture of this historic city. And now, it's time to show the true Venetian culture. Venezia FC. Luca Lezzarini, our starting keeper. He's 67 rated and can reach 75 potential. He's one of our very few good prospects we have in this team. He's the same height as Gianluigi Donnarumma at 6'5", which will be immense to his already skillful shot-stopping abilities. Defense. You thought Crystal Palace had an old back four? Well, let me introduce you to Christian Molinaro, Michele Cremonesi, and Marco Modolo. The average age between these three is 32. Call them the big three of the nursery home. Jokes aside, Christian Molinaro has one more season in him. Hopefully he makes the most of it. Marco Modolo, even though he's 30 years old, he's actually got a fantastic combo of speed and strength for a center back at his age. Now Michele Cremonesi, why are we still here? I mean, there is also Ivan Lakicevic, but he's alone, so I don't really give a fuck. Oh, and keep an eye on 21-year-old left-back Gian Filippo Felicioli. Along with his pretty cool name, he's 65 rated and has a potential of 76. Midfield. Franco Zuccolini and Lorenzo Lolo are both our highest rated players in the starting 11. 70 rated. Zuccolini has a good defensive awareness that should probably be able to support Mr. 37 sprint speed. Former Carpi FC legend Lorenzo Lolo, on the other hand, is pretty underrated. He's a gem in that his stats could make him fit smoothly into a lower tier Serie A club. I look forward to using him. Keep an eye on Yusef Male, who's 60 rated and can reach 73, but also don't forget about Fabrizio Galliata. He may be alone, but with a rating of 63 and a potential of 80, Maybe we buy him back next season. Luca Fiordellino. At this current moment, our best future player. 69 rated already as a 22 year old and he's able to reach 78. He's speedy and if you already know my wet dreams of a fast center attacking mid, he's gonna fit perfectly. Attackers. At the moment, we have two strikers playing at the wing position. Alessandro Capello and Gaetano Monacello. Capello would be a great striker for the club while Monacello is just alone. Nonetheless, we need a winger. Badly. Samuele Longo. Another loan with solid stats to his name, Samuele could be the goal scorer we need for promotion. And soon after season 1, I'm sure Inter will loan him out again. For the 12th time. Transfers. We sold Sergio Suchu for 1.1 million and Gianmarco Zigoni for 3.8 million. Now, before I actually get into any of the transfers, let me just talk about how difficult it was to find good Italian prospects in the Serie B, or even the Serie A. It was absolutely impossible. Almost every good prospect is on loan. I honestly just wonder, how do Serie A clubs manage their youth? So we have many players, including star prospect Luigi Bocconi. Some say he could be the next Di Natale, even at 16. I advise you to give him a couple of matches this season. Hmm. I like him, and he deserves to show what he's got. Loan him out to Milano City in the Serie D. Alessandro Semprini. With one of our main right backs this season being alone, that leaves us with just one 60 rated backup. So we decided to buy another backup for very cheap to fill the future gaps that could have threatened us. 63 rated. 
potential 73. This man will be like a small supporting leg under the lagoon that contributes to holding up Venice. 1.6 million, done deal. Nicolo Armini, at just 18 years old, 66 rated, with a potential of 84. You wonder to yourself, how truly broken is this game? Captain Italia, that's right, I'm giving him that title, and he probably won't even start half the matches this season. But, it's for good reason. As time progresses, Nicolo will be the hero Venezia will rely on as we face tougher opponents in the future. Just 2.8 million, call it the biggest deal since Tom Brady's jersey. And finally, Riccardo Sotil, pre-ordinato, preordained. Much like Armini, we have yet another Italian prospect that Fiorentina will soon regret letting go so soon. We needed a winger and this man is perfect for the job. He already can run around Serie B defenses like Speedy Gonzalez and with that speed continuing to develop along with his pretty bad shooting skills, we got a prize possession with 4 star skills. 3.9 million? Give me that. Well boys, welcome to the next big club in Italian football. So with this squad, could we promote to the Serie A in our first season? Well, let's find out. First off, we have a match against Spezia in the Cup. This is the Coppa Italia, our first match of the season, so hopefully we can go off to a good start. Six minutes into the match, a chance for Venezia here. It's off to Lolo. He takes the shot, and it's saved by the keeper. 28 minutes played now, a chance for Venezia once again off the counter-attack, this time it's Zuccolini, he threads it out to Sotil, our new signing, and Sotil has a ton of room to run, no one inching towards him, so he brings it back to Fiordolino, to Longo, and Longo takes the shot, and it's a good save by Scafet in the end. 46 minutes played, a chance for Spezia now, it's Maggiore, Maggiore with a ton of room to run, he has just no one really getting to him, he beats everyone, but then Lolo finally fouls him right near the edge of the box. And that gives Spezia a free kick. And now it's Marchisa leaving it off for Ragusa, and Ragusa scores for Spezia to make it 1 0. And uh, we're already in some trouble. 52 minutes played, Zuccolini now leads this attack. It's to Lolo. He threads it out to Fiordolino, who takes the shot. It's saved, and then he takes it again and completely misses it. Now Spezia with the chance. It's Acampora. He passes it to Maggiore, then to Enzola. Enzola threads it out to the wing. He then passes it back to Maggiore, way into the box. He tries to cross it in for someone. No one there, but Reinhardt takes the shot, and it's a good save by Lezzarini. 82 minutes played now. A chance for Venezia once again. We are just trying to find something finding the back of that something it's a whipped in cross by Molinaro to Longo and once again we just can't seem to put it in the back of the net 86 minutes played now it's Cagliara off the bench he passes it to Lorenzo Lolo to Aramu and Aramu then passes it to Sotil threading it out to Capello and finally we find the back of the net in the 88th minute and yes that means we go into extra time thank god we are back in this cup match 103 minutes played now it's a failed attack by Spezia leading to a counter-attack it's off to the races for Venezia a counter-attack the signature of mine and it's Cagliaro with a ton of room he sees the run by who Yuri Senesi who I like to call the sensei can he finish it <laughs> Now for our first league match, and it's up against Cosenza away. And let me tell you, this was really difficult. Virtus Entela. Six minutes into the match, a chance off a corner here for Virtus Entela. It goes off to Decol, who takes the shot, and it's a good save by Lezzarini. Now, on the other side of the pitch, another corner, but this one unfortunately goes in. Now, 12 minutes into the match, Capello to Zuccolini, who takes the shot outside the box, and it's a good save by the keeper. 25 minutes played, a chance for Entela once again. It's Sala. He passes it to Scanetti. Scanetti to Mazitelli. And Mazitelli, he sees Rodriguez. Is he gonna pass it to him? Finally, he does. Then Rodriguez takes a few turns, takes the shot, and it's a good save by the keeper, nonetheless. Entela were not done with us whatsoever. Once again, it's Sala on this left wing. He brings it out to Rodriguez. Rodriguez to Mazitelli. 
Mazzitelli to Schenetti. Schenetti then tries to find some space, passes it to Mazzitelli. Mazzitelli just trying to fool his defender, finally turns, takes the shot, and it's a good save once again by Lazzarini, who is just keeping us in this match at this point. First attack for Venezia since the 12th minute, it's Lorenzo Lolo. He just has all the space. He threads it out, the ball of dreams to Ricardo Sotil, and Sotil finds his first goal of his Venezia career, and hopefully we'll be seeing more in the future. 65 minutes played, Venezia are trying to find more momentum. They are seemingly doing it here. It's Zuccolini lobs it up to Longo, and unfortunately enough, Longo is definitely not a top striker. Salea Nitana. I think that's how you say it. 29 minutes play, chance for Venezia already. It's Samuele Longo. Longo takes the shot. It's safe, but then Lolo once again, his second goal in his second consecutive match. And once again, it leads to another goal, and it's once again 1 0 to Venezia, just like that. 41 minutes played, Venezia just tearing apart this Salernitana defense. That is a very difficult team name to say in commentary. I don't know how the Italian's doing it, but nonetheless, it's Capello on the ball. He whips in the cross to Zuccolini, and Zuccolini finds that top right corner, and it's his first goal of his Venezia career. Or at least in my tenure. 81 minutes play now just to end off this match at Zuccolini to the Sensei and the Sensei whips in the beautiful one to Samuele Longo and it's 3-0 to Venezia. A beautiful way to end off the night. And once again we face Spezia. Early chance for Venezia as it's Vaca to Luca Fiordellino, passing it to Lolo to Samuele Longo, threading it back to Lolo, and Lolo off an awkward angle finds the back of the net somehow, and he has three goals to his name in three consecutive matches. What a day for this man. Actually, that's four because he did score against Cosenza, so uh, wow, he's really doing well. But Spezia were not going to give up as Mora just leaves Lolo for dead, he then leaves it for for Di Gaudio, who passes it to Enzola, Enzola crosses it in for Maggiore, and luckily enough, it was right at the keeper. 33 minutes played now, it's Semprini, he passes it to Samuele Longo on the wing, Samuele then passes it to Lolo, Lolo with the beautiful ball to Fiordellino, and Fiordellino, all he has to do is beat the keeper, and of course he doesn't. 38 minutes played now, it's Semprini to Fiordellino, Lolo now on it, he threads it to Sotil, who finds his way behind the defender once again with the room and so teal takes the shots um there are those uh, shooting stats again. And now into the second half, a bad pass by a Spezia defender, leaving it for Samuele Longo, running right past him, and Samuele could finish this, and of course he doesn't. 50 minutes played now, chance for Spezia off the attack, and Vitale just runs right past Semprini like he's per murder stacker. Vitale still continuing to tear apart our defense. He cuts inside, takes a shot first time, it's blocked by Armini, then takes it once again off the rebound, and it's one all to Spezia off probably their side second chance of the match, but nonetheless, I mean, when you squander that many chances, you deserve to concede. But then Venezia once again finding their way behind this defense of Spezia's, which really has not been that effective against us whatsoever. It's Sotil who's going to take the shot, and you know what else isn't effective? His shooting. Up next we have Pescara, who are usually known to be a very good Serie B club, but for some reason in this save they are absolutely terrible. But it wasn't until the 76th minute basically where the first attack happened, and it's Zuccolini starting it, and well, ending it. It's 1-0 to Venezia against Pescara away, and once again, our away record is incredible so far. Pisa. Now we have still yet to actually win at home, I don't know why that's an issue, but uh, can we finally get a win at home? Three minutes into the match, it's Vaca on the ball, he passes it to Motato, to Lolo, and Lolo with this stinging shot, and it's a good save by the keeper. Now 14 minutes played, it's Sotil on the wing, he passes it to Vaca, to Aramu, Aramu then passes it back to Vaca, Vaca then passes it back to Lorenzo Lolo, and Lorenzo Lolo brings it to Motato, Motato with the beautiful turn and finish, and it's 1-0 to Venezia, just like that. 23 minutes played, it's Motato once again, he passes it to Aramu. The counter attack is strong with this one. It's Sotil. He could very much just end it in the 24th minute. He runs away from his defender and he hits the post. Oh, it could be on. The goal is given and that is. Real chance. Oh, come on. 